Hello and a very warm welcome to the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Uber Cup Finals 2020. We are in beautiful Aarhus, second largest city in Denmark, where the forest, the sea and the city meets in perfect harmony. Aarhus was designated European Capital of Culture in 2017 under the theme Let's Rethink. The port of Aarhus is the largest container port in Denmark and has the capacity to handle the largest ships in the world. All five continents are represented, 31 teams from all corners of the globe are participating. 16 teams from Asia, 9 from Europe, 2 from Africa, 2 from Oceania and 2 teams from Pan America. Only five nations have ever won the Thomas Cup, which is Indonesia, China, Malaysia, Denmark and Japan. The tournament is supposed to be played in four groups of four teams, but England unfortunately withdrew last minute from the Thomas Cup. The top two teams in each group qualifies for the knockout stage and a new draw is made for the quarterfinals. Indonesia won Group A and Malaysia came second to Japan in Group D. And here we got the quarter-final draw and uh, as you can see the bottom half of the draw is already concluded. Japan beat Korea 3-2 and China beat Thailand 3-0. We will of course turn our attention to the top one Indonesia versus Malaysia. And we are having a very busy program with three sessions a day, morning, afternoon and evening. And we will turn our attention to the Thomas Cock tie on court two between Indonesia and Malaysia. So, the Thomas Cup, the oldest team competition in badminton, a tournament dating back to 1949, used to be played every three years, but since 1984 has been a biannual event. And session two, court two, Thomas Cup, quarterfinals, Indonesia versus Malaysia. And the order of play, first match up is the first men's singles, Anthony Ginting, the Olympic bronze winner against the All England champion, Lee Shi Cha. Then the men's doubles, Marcus Gideon and Kevin Sukamoyo, the world ranked number one against Aaron Cha and So Yik, the Olympic bronze winners from Tokyo. The third match will be the second men's singles, Jonathan Christie, Asian Games champion against Ung Se Young. And that is followed by the second men's doubles, Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Arianto against uh, Gosi Fei and Nur Isudin. Finally, the fifth match is the third men's singles, Shisa Hiren Rostavito against Lian Jun Hao. And uh, I think we have to remind everyone that uh, we will not contest matches should one team get to three, then the remaining matches are then not contested. And we are ready to begin Anthony Sinisuka Ginting of Indonesia against Lisi Cha. And uh, the first one appearing is Anthony Ginting, the Olympic bronze winner from Tokyo. A very, very, very fast player. Probably the quickest player in the men's circuit. Lovely skills. Very, very fast footwork, and on his good days, he can beat anyone in the world. His opponent for today is the tall Li Sitia from Malaysia, 185 centimeters. And he shocked the world, did he, when he won the All England in March this year? beating Victor Axelsen in the final. 
PC Char got a bronze at the World Junior Championship in 2016 and has steadily got better and better. But if you're a fan of Malaysia, please look away because as you can see, Ginting is 3 1 up in the Good head to head between Black the two All players. Right. But Red for you. Lee Si Cha won the Black. last one in Service. Finland just 10 Good days side. ago. Ginting, always cool customer, very, very nice player to watch on court. Great courtesy towards his opponents, court officials and everyone. And here we've got the tall Li Xicha coming through the Badminton Association of Malaysia Academy program. But uh, the first profile we're having is the 24-year-old Anthony Ginting. He's 171 centimetres tall. And uh, the highest he has been ranked is number three. He has enjoyed four weeks as number three. And the last one was on the 10th of March, 2020. He has uh, played two matches. And he lost against Wang Chiron of Thailand. However, beat Cho Chen Chen of the Chinese Taipei. Two very tough matches for Ginting. And uh, Li Xicha is born in Alostar in Kedah, North Malaysia, on the west coast, and is 23 years of age. And his highest ranking is eight, and he has actually enjoyed 30 weeks as number eight in the world. And last time was just last Tuesday or Tuesday this week. He has played two matches as well, beat Brian Yang of Canada quite convincingly in two straight games. And that was not an easy match, I can assure you. But then he lost to Kento Momota, 23-21 in the last final game, took 80 minutes. That was a long, long match. And uh, the umpire for the match is uh, Jakob Sundberg. And the service judge Please. is uh, Rosviris of Latvia. So, when you look at the lineup for the two teams, it looks very, very much like a must win for Malaysia in the first two matches, in the first men's singles and the first men's doubles. So, a lot of responsibility riding on the shoulders of Lee Si Cha. He's an attacking and hard-hitting player. Sometimes a little bit erratic, Ladies but he's getting so much right, better. Malaysia Has improved leaps and bounces. And on my left, Indonesia, represented by Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Level play. She just serve. Love all play. This can be a firecracker of a match. Uh, just wide. One club. to Anthony Ginting won China Open the Super 1000 tournament 
in 2018, he got a bronze in the Asian Games in 2018, and as I mentioned earlier, a bronze at the Olympic just a few months ago. Yeah, that's good play. And look at the speed, look at how quickly Ginting gets to that forehand at the net. However, despite the fact that he's there in very good balance, still missed the shot. And that is something that he cannot afford to do. in the, this opening match and the players still need to settle in a bit yeah and this is what Sita is so good at his attack coming off from the junior ranks he had an awesome attack but his defense was not working so well something the coaches have corrected over the years now and he's a very balanced player these days that's wide. Had it not been good length, I can assure you. But uh, Lee Sicha would have launched one of his hard smashes in here. We've got the Malaysian team supporting their teammate. Wide. Very good reaction from Ginting. rally of the match so far no doubt about it Five, four. And there was a little bit of a warning sign I think for Ginting because he's really got to watch out for the good attack from Lee Si Cha and sometimes the best defense is attack He should try to use his speed to control. Yeah, it's called out. Probably have a challenge. It's looking very, very tight. Yeah, that's a good challenge. Correction. Oh. Service over. Is it challenging? So let's see what the instant view system has got in store for us. And 
but uh, as the umpire is saying, that challenge remaining. is unsuccessful. Six, five, play. And so just, so far, just one point between the players most of the time. Yeah, that's good play from Ginty. I like the way that he's playing that spinning net shot back on the spinning net shot. And then, of course, the lift is coming, but very, very quick behind it and could attack straight down the line. Not going cross court to open up, which is a clever move from uh, the Indonesian. Second time around that smash down the line is working. Maybe a third will be coming later, but perhaps Ginting will start with a little bit more variation, go for a cross court smash next time. Let's see. Yeah, good play. Well covered, the cross court with the fast drive Nine, from Lee Sitya. And then good awareness. And about that one there, really well saved. And then good awareness, leaving the shuttle on the back line. Setting up a four point gap, nine, five up. goes into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-5. Played some solid badminton and a little bit too many mistakes from Elise Tia in this opening. Let's see whether he can make a comeback after the interval. Eight minutes of play, 11-5 in favour of Anthony Ginty. Start for Lisi Chia. Six, Technical skills from DC Char, good attacking ability. And that's the second time C Char is falling for that disguise shot at the net on the forehand side. And then the smash down the line again from Ginting. So, three smashes in a row, giving three points for DC Char of Malaysia. Need the court to be mopped. Okay. 
And this is a little good run of points for Weezy Chuck. Same shot again. And this time the spinning net shot of the net. Just caught the net. And still rolling over, look at this one, perfection. And it's a not able to control that lift. Oh, that is awesome. Backhand smash with a puree. Look at that. First up shot is actually Nine, quite amazing. 12. The flat drive down the line, but look at the finishing shot. No way, but look at the expression on the face of Ginty. That was awesome. on the line. Not really going 100%, but went for placement. 13, again that's four times down the line smash from the around the head situation from Ginting and every single time it's been a point something Elise Tia really needs to address now I can hear that Hendra one the coach behind the court of Lisa Charles talking, so perhaps he's talking about exactly that, this motion. Down to his forehand side. Done it. 11 14. Very, very important that you play your shots from the front of the court with some sort of disguise delay. Because if it's just a straightforward shot, you will be punished. Your opponent will guess it, anticipate it immediately. And that's why you see the players all the time are trying to play these sort of small delay shots all the time. And this time, could smash down the line from a easy Again, just a half smash. But nevertheless, very, very effective. Thirteen, fifteen. There's a small comeback here on behalf of Sicha. Good placement from Ginting. 
And once again, um, I will give my humble opinion that uh, as soon as Ginting is at the net playing the spinning net shot, the first Lucy Chia is doing is lifting. Maybe sometimes he should fight a little bit more for initiative at the net and play a spinning net shot back on that spinning net shot in order to sort of upset the rhythm of Ginting. Otherwise it's too easy for Ginting to anticipate and of course he can then play even better shots. And this was the Malaysian Yubakop team supporting the boys in their match against Indonesia. Restored in favour of Anthony Ginting. I think it's a little bit underestimated how quickly Ginting is actually getting to the net and pushing these shots towards the back of the court. It's going with a ferocious pace. And here, another example Ginting is playing that spinning net shot. And Lucy Cha not really challenging at the net. Oh, he saved that one. But played it out. The lift. The touch really let. Easy turn down and lift towards the back outside. And I think this opening game is beyond the Malaysian. Ginting is having a very, very firm grip on this opening game. Playing with excellent pace. Forward on Ginting and not on. Oh, I'm wrong. There's actually a forward on Lee C. Tire the net. I thought perhaps Ginting was interfering with the shot of C. Tire, but umpire Jakob Sundberg was seeing it the other way. 20, game point 14. Save the first one. Fifteen twenty. And that's out. Game. Which means that Anthony Ginting, first game, one in fine Indonesia. style, I would say, 21, takes the opening game twenty one. 15 and 20 minutes of play.
out to four supporters for Indonesia here, all dressed up to support the team. Interesting thing is that uh, Hendawan is a former player of Indonesia and he speaks Bahasa Indonesia and uh, Lisa Chan speaks Bahasa Malaysia. And, uh, of course, they understand each other really well. It's like in Scandinavia, where Norway, Sweden, and Denmark speak similar language and we can understand one another. A lot of repair work to be done by Hendrawan because I really think that Lucy Chan needs to step up the pace. And that was a fine example of it. It's too slow. But one of the best weapons in the men's singles of today. That's a lovely return. I really, really like the aggressiveness on the return of serve from Anthony Ginting. Something that a lot of players are not paying a lot of attention to. And uh, one of them is actually Elisi Tia. I think he's quite defensive when it comes to his return of serve. <laughs> Commentator's curse going for that one. And that's nice to see. I really think that Players need to play, pay a lot, lot more attention to the return of surf. Good, solid play from both the players. And once again, the cross-court smash from Elisa Chai is doing the damage. Nothing between the two players in this uh, second game, for all. And it's uh, the longest rally of 27 points. Sorry, 27 shots into the Bedford Barden. when the two players yeah. okay. and they played in Finland, the two players, when Lisi Cha won that match in the head-to-head. Lisi Cha was winning 21-11, 21-16. Today is a completely different Four. ball game. Kinting oh. already closed down the, the opening game, 21 15.
Kim Ting responding very well to the flat exchange challenge from uh, Li Si Chia. Not a lot of people know, but Li Si Chia was a very good doubles player as a junior as well. And at one stage he was sort of contemplating to perhaps continue in the men's doubles, but singles was always closest to his heart. And that's a good save. Great save from the Malaysian. I didn't fall for that small little trick shot. And it was played from a too low position from Kinting, which meant that uh, it was a little bit too easy to put away. And that's going wide. Good pressure from Ginting, forcing the arrow. to call the doctors, even though they say that Six, blood injuries seven. have to be treated, but this is obviously so minor. Yeah. Ginting is really moving his opponent around very, very nicely, stretching Sucha. And that's good anticipation. Saw the cross court coming. But perhaps there is a small gap for Sijar here because it looks like if the rallies are getting long enough, then the mistakes are coming from the racket of uh, Anthony Gibson. And uh, now we have to get the uh, blood injury treated. Blood was dripping on the floor. And of course we can't have that. Bad news for this, Nikos. We have blood on the floor as well. Yeah. Jakob Sundberg is saying that uh, we need to tidy up the court. has won the Thomas Cup an impressive 13 times but not since 2002 and that's followed by the defending champion from China who has won 10 times and this is the 31st edition of the Thomas Cup dating back to 1949 
you know, the problem with these plasters is that they very often can't stick anyway and they fall off very quickly. And secondly, of course, it's not very nice to play. You need to have that sense, that feeling in your hand holding the grip of the racket. And that is obviously not the best when uh, you have a situation where you're having plaster on your fingers. So this Thomas Cock tie is obviously one of the traditional clashes between the two nations in South Southeast Asia. Very, very traditional badminton countries. Indonesia and Malaysia. And they have had so many clashes over the years. It's a classic. Malaysia won the last time in 1992, actually beating Indonesia in that final. That's lovely defence from Sitya, and that is called out. September. Seven. Oh, that's a wild one. And Ginting back level, trailing 6-8, but now back 8 all after the medical treatment. That is quite amazing. It's actually got to be that tight to the line, otherwise it's coming back. And that was Li Mengyan, Malaysia, Liang Junhao, Go Si Fei, Noi Zudin, Cham Junwei, Wang Chung Han, the performance director. spinning that shot but look at the length on that lift from Asitya and that saved him And fighting much, much better for the initiative at the net now, Lee Si Chia. And he's into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-9. Yeah, look at that one. But that was a lovely spinning net shot.
finishing in 15 minutes. 11-9 in favour of Lisi Chow of Malaysia. exactly what I meant when I said Sutia have to fight for initiative at the net and he did so well, very well but you have to take your hats off for Viginting that was awesomely played all the way in that rally despite the very good efforts from Sutia Setting it up nicely with that cross court of the net, Ginting. Forcing a sort of a flat lift he can attack. And then the smash down the line once again. Look at that. But the smash down the line is doing the damage. Sheer power, but I can understand the frustration from Ginting. Perhaps he should have had that one. 13, 12. Yeah. A little smile from Anthony Ginting. Ginting couldn't get up. Good control of the net from Lee Si Chia. Okay. 
Somehow I sense that this match is not going to be won by raw physical, but it's going to be technical skills and tactical skills more than anything. Just serving, 14.30 up. Yeah, we've seen that on many occasions now that Cross court, half smash on the forehand side of Lee Si Chan, and that is a problem for Ginting. Here it comes, anticipating well. Good, strong athlete. The first lift was way too short and that got him into trouble. Need the court to be mopped. And I sense that it's more about who can really hold his nerves in this match. It's going to be very tight. Yeah, great pictures here. 14, 15. <laughs> A little bit of a nervous start from both the players in the opening game. I think we are treated to some awesome badminton here. That was a fantastic follow-up placed on the right side of Lee Sitya on the forehand side. Yeah, he had the chance. So we see Cha. It's got a sister as well. BCE, who used to be in uh, the uh, BAM squad as well. She stopped about three years ago and now helping out on the business side of uh, Lisi Chia. And I know that she's coming to Denmark next week for the Denmark Open in Owensen. Seventeen, sixteen. 
But it is interesting to see that all the attacks from Ginting are straight attacks. That's something that perhaps the Malaysians can build into their game plan. Good pressure from Ginting. Very, very nice pressure. As well. So it's a giant two points adrift now and getting two points away from taking this opening match in 1917. Kept it really well together. Anthony Ginting played much, much, much better in this match than we've seen him play for quite a while. And that's awesome attack. Setting up three match points, 20 match points, 17 in favour of Anthony Ginting from Indonesia. And that would put Malaysia in a lot of trouble in the overall tie. Fast and furious and is out. And Anthony Ginting takes the first men's singles in two straight games. And my, he is delighted. He's so delighted. It means the world to the Indonesian fans when their team is doing well in the Thomas Cup. And the same goes for Malaysia. Number five beat the world number eight in this very close encounter. And here we got the confirmation in just 52 minutes of play 21 15, 21 17. That's the final shot of this match. The smash out the sideline. reactions from uh, the Indonesian fans. And the next match coming up is the world number one, Gideon and Sukamulyo against uh, 
the Olympic bronze winners of Malaysia, Aaron Char and So Weak. Some pictures here from Aarhus, Denmark, on this uh, sunny day. And this is actually the harbour going towards the city centre. And uh, here we've got Sirius Arena that's uh, lying at the edge of the forest that's leading down to the park, the Memorial Park. 